You know, the best example that I ever got from, on the decision making came from a guy by the name of Carl Gerstacker. Carl was the chairman of the board of Dow Chemical back between 1960 and I think 1976. It was a period of great profitability for Dow Chemical. And uh, uh, back in the uh, 80s, I was, the, I was privileged to be the executive director of the Michigan State University Foundation. And Carl had a, a love for that university, and, and the university and Dow Chemical had a very solid partnership. And, and Carl, he, by then he was retired. I was a young 32 Turk trying to figure out how to, how to be a leader for the, the foundation. And uh, he had taken me under his wing. He liked me for, for whatever reason. And uh, so we were sitting one day having coffee, and, and I very, very honestly, very meaningfully, I said, Carl, you were very successful. Tell me, what do you think, is you, do you attribute your success to? And he said, Ron, one thing. He said, right or wrong, I'm always sure. <laughs> and what he meant by that was, you can, you can work like the Dickens to get all, all the information you need to make a perfect decision. And if you do that, you'll never make a decision because you'll never get all the information you need to make the perfect decision. What he said was, I get enough information to make a, a well-reasoned decision. And then, I, then we act. And that way, we're at least moving forward. But I'm always open to finding out uh, if there's new information or if some of the information I had was wrong and making adjustments along the way. The importance is I'm moving forward and we're, we're advancing the organization as a result. So he never waited. He acted. And I think that that's the best part of decision making is being willing to make that decision and being willing to admit that eh, part of that was wrong. And so I'm going to adjust it, but we're going to keep moving forward. That's great.